I was wrong about how the fight was going to go. I was wrong. I was at the UFC fights here in Nashville, actually. Uh, by the time I got home, I actually bought the pay-per-view um, real late, missed the first round. Uh, I heard Jake obviously came out, won the first round, hit him with a lot of uh, – um, started really fast, hit him with a lot of punches, um, which I think would have been Ill, a little bit ill-advised uh, because the biggest way that Diaz wins this fight is the – is the longevity, cardio, punch count type of fight where Jake goes out there, wings some big shots. Do we know how good of shape he's in for a 10-round fight? Questionable. Do we know, is he going to keep his power for 10 rounds? Questionable. Um, is he going to be able to keep his hands up for 10 rounds? Is he going to be able to move? Is he going to be able to withstand this kind of pressure in this kind of length of a fight <clears throat> for 10 rounds? Questionable. Jake Paul answered those questions. Jake Paul, um, I think, stayed pretty darn composed. I think he stayed pretty darn sharp the entire fight. Uh, got the knockdown in round five, I believe it was. I saw that. Uh, maybe it was round seven later on, a little bit later on in the fight. But even still then, we always see Nate Diaz get hurt, get dropped, get staggered, get wobbled, get cut open. His eyes were visibly, uh, especially his right eye, because he's a southpaw, his forward eye, um, was visibly uh, bruised and visibly swollen. But Nate Diaz always, always, always weathers the storm and hits you with a thousand punches and sometimes, a lot of times, is able to break your will, stay in your face, keep the pressure on you, keep in fighting, keep close to you, never let you take a breath. And he will eventually put enough punches on you to finish you or keep a punch count up high enough to win on the judges' scorecards. I thought that was what was going to happen. I thought if Jake didn't catch him soon in the fight, early in the fight, that Nate would withstand the attack, the early attack, and uh, be able to throw a, a volume punches, thousands of punches, and be able to beat Jake um, on the scorecards. I was wrong. Um, <clears throat> I just did a video about uh logan that we'll be releasing here in a day or so uh about the question about him deciding to fight that one guy that we call dylan danis who was just an absolute troll on the internet i don't know why we give him any kind of credit and i was also bringing in jake to that conversation where i think the paul brothers are a brand Jake has his own brand. Logan has his own brand, but neither of them on their own is as big as the Paul brothers brand. What they have done ever since Vine, ever since Disney, ever since YouTube, what they're doing now in the sport of boxing for Jake, especially Logan and WWE and now boxing, I guess. Um, unfortunately, they are guilty by association for each other, right? So I think on the one hand, I want to give Jake some props Losing to Tommy Fury, who is a is a boxer, a real boxer. We can get it. We get Ben Askren, not great hands. We get it. But former world champion in mixed martial arts, retired. Tyron Woodley beating Tyron, obviously. Um, but uh, then losing to Tommy Fury, who was a legit boxer in a lot of people's eyes. And then the way he handled that loss, give him give him credit. The way he handled that loss, got right back in the gym, right back in the gym. Didn't hang his head, didn't quit, didn't say, oh, maybe I, maybe this whole uh, boxing thing is, is over for me. No, he takes a very tough fight in Nate Diaz. I think Nate Diaz is a scary fight for anybody. Nate Diaz can do exactly what I just said for the last three minutes in this video. He'll stay in your face. He'll keep pressure on you. He knows how to fight. He is a born fighter. He'll fight you in the street right now over a hot dog. The dude will fight anywhere, anytime, any place. Including the streets, we see scenes of videos of that, obviously. But back to the Paul brothers. Unfortunately, I believe Logan's decision to fight a very, very illegitimate troll in Dylan Dennis is a stain on the legacy slash brand of boxer, professional boxer that Jake is building. Because I think Jake's building himself a heck of a resume now. Listen, we doubted him, and we doubted him, and we doubted him, and we doubted him, we, doubted him, we kept doubting him. I have doubted him, Jake. I'll be the first to admit it. Doubted you from the very beginning. You and me have very different, uh, very different personalities. Do I think we might get along? Yeah, maybe, but different public personas, if you will. Um, but from what I've heard, you train hard, big, 
fast, athletic, wrestled first, which I love, obviously. Um, and beating Nate Diaz the way that you did, dropping him, staying composed. We're starting to see shades of, of Jake Paul turning a corner. Do I think it would beat Canelo? Absolutely not. And that's not a knock on Jake. I mean, I wouldn't. I could fight Canelo for 10 rounds and probably not even lay a glove on him. Let's be honest. Um, boxers are just that good at head movement, especially Canelo. I think Canelo has the best head movement of all time. Floyd Mayweather has the best defense of all time, but Canelo has the best head movement of all time. Um, so with that, I say, would Jake beat Canelo or will he ever get to that level? That's probably not. Canelo's been throwing punches since he was three years old. Um, but we're going to see a continued growth in this thing. And now we're talking about Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz in an MMA fight. How does that one go? Maybe that's a whole separate video. But I love the fact that they're not talking about doing it. I think in the PFL, under MMA rules, MMA gloves, Jake Paul versus Nate Diaz. Um, so I think it's an interesting fight. I think uh, it was cool to see the guys very cordial as well. I think, you know, I think Nate's just been in so many verbal wars, his career surrounded by so much anger and animosity and that brand of, you know, I'm a real fighter, you know, what was he called? A real represent, you know, real fighter represent clothing brand, like represent for the real fighters. Uh, he is an absolutely a real fighter. And Jake Paul beat a real fighter. Is he a real boxer? Not really. Was he a good boxer in MMA because of, of his volume punching and his cardio? Yes, but in the realm of boxing, not the best boxer. But Nate did a very good job of keeping the pressure on him. I was just talking to Connor, my media director over there in the corner. He's like, the, the fight looked different. It looked weirder. It looked interesting. It looked different than a normal boxing match. And it did because Nate Diaz knew if that Jake Paul right hand comes over the top and lands, I'm going to get dropped just like he did. <clears throat> Excuse me. So he had to keep the fight very close. He had to keep the infighting very close. You would see he'd be out of range, and then he would jump in range, hands up, tie up, boom, 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 hit with hit with uh, you know six or eight different kind of slapping punches, um, and just kind of volume work, a lot of volume work on Jake. But um, at some point, we got to start asking ourselves, you know, Jake taking a fight like this, Jake winning a fight like this. I think Jake's getting better. I think you can't deny the fact that the dude is actually committed to it you know at first i thought it was just gonna be like well i'll kind of take it kind of seriously it's more promotion it's more spectacle it's more entertainment it's more content that the paul brothers are geniuses at um but obviously i think he was down in what costa rica or somewhere um he was down in miami for a while and then uh, then he rented a place in costa rica rented out a whole boxing gym or something like that the dude is taking this thing very seriously now he's going to move into mixed martial arts against nate diaz hopefully i think it'd be a great fight um but my overall sentiment of the fight is Jake is better than we thought he was. He's not as good as he thinks he is, but he's better than we thought he was. I, and I always, I say that about a couple of guys because there's these guys who have this brand of like, you know, I can't be beat or I'm better. They, they're definitely not as good as they think they are, but they're way better than we think they are. Because we see a guy like that with that kind of unrivaled kind of confidence and self-belief. And we say, wow, there's no way he's that good. Okay, so we have a tendency to do that on one end of the spectrum. And then on the other end of the spectrum, those type of people who manifest these things and they have a ton of self-belief and you heard Jake talk about it, which I thought was a great message too, especially for him. He's got a lot of young kids looking up to him. Shoot, my, you know, my, my, not my son, uh, my son's friend said something about the Paul brothers being great fighters and stuff there. These guys are, are capturing the hearts and minds of the younger generation. For, so for Jake to stand up and say, hey, anything can be accomplished through self-belief. I love that message. Anything through hard work and dedication can be accomplished. And while the, while the message is somewhat muddied by the way that he comes across, I think it's a good message nonetheless. So hats off to you, Jake. Uh, for the win, hats off to you for the dedication to your craft. Um, hats off to you for building this career. Um, Logan, I don't know what the heck you're thinking by fighting that other guy, that troll, that stain on combat sports, that wart that we can't get rid of in combat sports. But that's neither here nor there. Kudos to you, Jake. Hat tip to you. Um, we'll see what happens. Does Jake fight Nate in an MMA fight? Who wins if they do a rematch in boxing? Who wins? Like, subscribe, put your comments in below. Let's get this conversation going. Um, either way, it was fun. It was entertaining. I watched it. I bought the pay-per-view. So that's uh, that says something. So 
Um, appreciate y'all. Hope y'all love the content. Jake, keep training. Nate, keep your head up. Logan, don't know what the heck you're doing. And that other guy, just go away. God bless. I'll see you at the top.